Aries, this is Aquila for your monthly reading for the month of February 2015. So, let's get into it. We have on the third, we have a full moon in your fifth house of love, joy, pleasure, um, children, and the happiness that they bring to you, um, your sexual energy as well. We have a full moon in that. So, what that usually symbolizes, um, Aries, is usually... Whatever you've been working towards in that sector of your life, there's going to be some type of combination, some type of showing of that, some type of bearing fruit in that department of your life, Aries. We also have on the 11th, Mercury, the planet of communication, which has been retrograded. It's been, it's been retrograding since January, January, and it's going to go direct in your 11th house of your hopes, your wishes, your friends, your aspirations and dreams, which you want for yourself, Aries. And the first card that I got for you is nothingness now this is a very conventional card it's it's very much a need to adapt to a set of belief that you probably have never adapted to before or that you probably find to be a way that you never used to think um you're going to be joining some type of group or organization or something that you're going to feel um welcomed with it might be a gym it might be a church it might be a religious uh, gathering it might be a dance club it anything that it, it just it might even be studying or learning something in a new in a new way in a new light or um taking some classes going back to school um something to help you get wisdom and knowledge and grow in a certain area of your life um Anyway, so that's always wonderful. Knowledge is always wonderful. We have on the 18th, we have a new moon in your 11th house as well. Now, 11th house, new moon, okay, new seed planted, new way of thinking, new ways of doing things. I'm thinking this way. I'm not acting yet, but I'm just thinking. So new moons definitely means you're thinking, you're brainstorming, a seed is planted. It takes time for you to actually see the the plant pop out from the soil so not a good time to act you're just thinking about new things and new ways of doing things right now aries which is a wonderful thing for you because you definitely need that with uranus around you and aries have been going through ups and downs for a while now i've been watching uh the charts of aries and definitely some strenuous times now so we definitely want to keep positive uh throughout all of this uh this uh, this alleged chaos that's going on um also too um, it is Valentine's Day, uh, Valentine's Month, and people are celebrating that. It is energy of love still in the universe out there for everyone to grasp it. It doesn't always have to be something romantic. It can always just be something for you, Aries, um, that you love yourself, you know, even better. The second card that I got for you is Maturity. This is a Pentacles card. This is a reality check. Reality check, Aries. In your materials, it's all about your finances with this card. It's maturity, uh, granting yourself, being productive, centered, uh, whatever you're dreaming about doing. It's about materializing that, uh, making whatever it is that you're thinking about something that you it can be tangible. Um, finding out what it is that you can make tangible uh, so much. Uh, Whatever it is your interest is, whatever it is that you see that you can actually benefit from starting something or thinking about a way of doing something where money or you just making yourself even even more secure, that would also be, um, this is a perfect card to get for that. Perfect card to get for that. We have on the 19th, your ruling planet Mars is going to move into your first house of self. Wow. Wow. So beautiful, so wonderful, so excellent for you because your ruling planet in your sign makes you kind of like super powerful, if that makes any sense, but it really does, Aries. It's going to give you a lot more energy, a lot more drive, a lot more dedication. Also, it's going to give you a lot more aggression. Uh, you're going to be a little bit less patient uh, than you are, but with knowing this, you can definitely... um you know, learn to maneuver yourself in order to just deal with the energy so that you can get the better better end of it, of uh, the Aries energy. So we also have on the 20th, Venus, the planet of love, pleasure, and money is also entering into your first sign of self. Wonderful news because you have your ruling planet Mars here. Now you have Venus here. This is going to be a wonderful experience for you. So third card that I got for you is ordinariness. Which is very uncommon for me to get in a reading for Aries. Uh, ordinariness. You guys are nothing but ordinary. And it's a Pentacles card. So 
dealing with money again, dealing with finances, dealing with um, basically changing uh, something, uh, working hard, education, finances, being diligent, um, something that you're going to be doing to make you happy, but you're going to have to restructure certain things uh, to focus on that. Being patient and focusing on details. Now this also, with the ordinariness card, it also has the energy of you being a perfectionist and I know a lot of Aries are perfectionists so also giving yourself time um, to definitely find out what it is that you like and if when you do or when you do start to um, if you do start to do that make sure that you know take some time out every now and then to not just be uh, such a perfectionist that you're just enraged in it uh, so there is that energy for it as well with Mars there you are gonna be aggressive you're gonna be going at it hard so you don't want to do too much where you over exhaust yourself again um, Aries but this is usually this is usually really good energy for you because like I said it's your ruling planet so you're gonna be fine um, also remember Saturn is in your ninth house so it's really holding you in the ninth house with your um, long distance travels and your way of thinking your philosophy education you're gonna be definitely being disciplined in that area so that is gonna be a focus that you want to think about as well in this month um, but it is gonna be overall a beautiful month for you to start something to start something that something new that you probably wouldn't even expect it to do so but if you do go at it positively um, enraged with beautiful ideas enraged I say because your planet is going to be in your sign so you'll be fine Aries and I'll see you guys again next month